What's up guys, my name's Noah. I make music as Haterade here for Sonic Academy. So this video, we're gonna be talking about gates. Now, if you're just a beginner, you probably don't even know what a gate is. And if you're an intermediate producer, you probably don't use it very often. Well, a gate acts just like a compressor, except instead of the compressor lowering the volume when it surpasses our threshold, it does the opposite. It cuts the volume before it surpasses the threshold. And essentially it just helps us remove any unwanted signal below that certain point. So if we recorded a vocal and it had a lot of noise, like a high noise floor, we can put a gate on that vocal and let only the parts of the vocal come through while cutting out the noise floor. And we can do that automatically with this plugin. But there's some pretty cool things you could do with it. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So let's get the headphones on. Our first example, I've got a break beat loop here. This is what it sounds like. So if we apply our gate here, you see we have a threshold, a return, attack, hold, release, and our floor. So the noise floor is gonna be set to negative 40 by default if you have Ableton. Just like a compressor, you guys know what attack and release is. You, attack is how much time it takes for the, the gate to react, and release is how long it takes the gate to stop reacting. And hold is basically just like our sustain. So. If we set this threshold, and normally I like, to, I like to go like this, I like to bring it all the way down, and then just mo slowly move it up. So to even like further maximize this effect, I can even put reverb on this. Makes it really washed out. Then I put that gate on it and it just tightens it right back up. We can bring that return down so it smooths out the gate effect so it doesn't give us that crackly noise. So that's one way you could use a gate, which is pretty helpful if you're trying to tighten up some drums that have a lot of room noise recorded into them. The next example is even cooler. Check this out. So just like a compressor, a gate has a sidechain function. So you see right here, I've got the sidechain enabled and I've got snare drum here. This is what the snare drum sounds like by itself. And then I have a couple of different noises. So I've got this noise right here. I've got this noise here. And I've got this noise here. So I can use all of these as a layer on my drum sound. So instead of just manually shaping that, I could use a gate to shape that sound with this noise. So check this out. I'm gonna turn on this gate here. I'm gonna turn on the side chain. Sometimes it helps to mess with the gain a little bit to get a better sound. But right here, I'm gonna set our threshold to like right here, I'd say. And usually when I'm using this technique, I like to bump up the release a little bit. So this is what it sounds like with just the noise and the snare drum layered together. But if we turn on our side chain, make sure our attack is all the way down here. We mess with a threshold, probably turn this down a little bit. Let's swap it out with another one. Again, without. Bump that release down a little bit. All right, let's try another one. And let's bring that noise floor down too. Really cool, it gives it like this, this extra little flavor that the drum didn't have before. This also works really well on kick drums too. And our final technique is similar to the last one, but we're using it in a different way. We are creating a new pattern out of a synth loop that we have. So here's what our synth loop sounds like without any gate on it at all. And all I did here was I created a MIDI clip here with a rhythm that I thought would sound good over this loop here. So what I did here is I routed the signal from this trigger channel here, which is it has serum, but we got it. We got the channel turned off, so we won't hear it. It's only it's only on there to trigger the gate. So we turn on our gate. We turn it on side chain mode here, and we find where is our trigger right there. And let's bring down our noise floor there. And uh, we can mess with the release as we go, but we're gonna need to bring the gain up a little bit here. And that gives us this really cool sort of stopping and starting effect that 
we otherwise would have to do manually by hand. So these are three really great uses for gates. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, consider going over to sonicacademy.com and checking out the rest of our material. We've got 1300 hours of course material from me and tons of other great producers. Go check it out, it's a lot of fun. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate the support from you guys. If you liked this video, then you know, smash that like button. And if you want to be notified about new content, hit the subscribe and the bell notifications. Peace.